Hi YouTube and welcome to vlog 99, one away from 100, Edward Tyndall here and Sarah Tyndall and Dirty Turtle Tank Tyndalls. Oh my god. <laughs> Today. Look at this turtle thing, it ain't very dirty but they get dirty every single day so anybody keeping turtles need to realize they're absolutely awesome to keep. But you got to clean their little cage out every single day. They have not been cleaned out yet. <laughs> Probably for food. Yeah, it's food stuff that fell down today. Okay, I'm going to cover a, a lot of subjects today. Today. First, I want to start off by giving a shout out to Always Evolving Pythons. Because Always Evolving Pythons are absolutely fantastic. Magnificent co. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. Always evolving Python, and not not to mention that he's got an awesome logo. Um, oh yes, Lego and look at this lo logo. Logo. Look at this. This is the new enclosure. Um, I'm not going to tell y'all what's going in this, but I have modified this with the crystal clear gorilla glue in the bands. Absolutely awesome crystal clear tank. Y'all will get to see when I get back from Tinley what goes in there. Um, okay, next we are looking Stop. at a video, vlog number 80 from DEA Exotics, answering the Tyndall's questions. We want you guys to stop right now. Pause it. Yes, please pause. Pause. Go down, search, or go up and search DEA Exotics. Yep. And subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Let's yes. help them get up to 600. Yes. Or more. 6,000. 20,000. 50,000. They're absolutely awesome. And funny is all get out. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever said is all get out, but they are funny as hell, people. I'm serious. Um, and we love Becky. Yes. Well, I love Becky. Yes, because you're just like her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep it child friendly. You got to do it downward. <laughs> All right. Who wants to see a goody? Y'all like goodies? Y'all know what a goody is? Look at a goody. It's shed. That's not no good. Whoa! I'm so glad that I opened this up right now for you guys. My goody's about to die. Holy shit. Look. My goody has fell in its water bowl, molting. People, hold this camera right here. Nobody should ever mess with the tarantula while they're shitting, but he is stupidly climbed up in here, molting, and is in the water bowl, going to drown. I've got to get him out of there very carefully. And place him where he's not going to drown. Which could damage him in some way, but it's better than him dying. Oh, there he goes. He won't stand up. There you go. There you go. There you go, baby. All right. Only on Edward Tindall YouTube, people. Oh, my God. I know. Sweet thing. Oh, what a wonderful animal this is. I can't believe that this beautiful blue thing would molt and fall in the water like that to drown and die the only reason that i was able to save this beautiful rarest tarantula on planet earth is because of dea exotics because i was not going to be filming a vlog tonight if it wasn't for them so thank you dea exotics that's another reason if y'all haven't paused it the first time pause it now because there's another goodie living alive right now at this moment because i'm making this video Otherwise, I would not have opened this container. That is awesome, though, by the way. This is a mail. Uh, you opened it earlier. What the heck are you talking about? Yeah, I opened it earlier, but he wasn't doing that. I thought he was dead, actually. He was laid across here, and I touched him a little bit, and I was like, what's wrong with you? And then he moved a little bit. Now I know what was wrong with him. He was going to shed upright instead of upside down like they usually do, which is absolutely crazy, but I guess he's going to be okay. Um, all right, now... To answer one of Becky's questions, what is the fine line between blondes and redheads? 
<sighs> that's it right there there is a fine line between blondes and redheads for one when you piss either one of the two absolutely beautiful amazing and wonderful species off they always seem to go for the family jewels I don't know why but that's the case every time you see what I'm saying I'm always having to block stuff <laughs> as I seen in a DEA exotic video and that's right right when I realized that there really is a fine line between blonde and red and then we got a horse brownie she has is a red horse with a blonde mane there goes that fine line and if you look closely in the proper lighting you can see a couple blondes in with the red now I grant it in order to create a red head the father has to carry redhead genes and the mother has to carry redhead genes. But you can breed two redheads together and guess what could pop out? A blonde. I'm Edward Tyndall. I have mostly gray hair now, but I used to have brown. But I was born with black hair and then I developed blonde and brown hair. And then I have blonde people in my family and redheads in my family. Being mostly Scotch Irish and Indian and Pine 57, there's all kinds of crap involved in my family, but um, so that's, that, I hope that answers your question about the fine line between blondes and red. Um, be nice to them. If you piss them off, make sure you're at a distance away from them and protect, make sure we protect, ain't your, around <laughs> protect your family jewels. <laughs> Well, uh, y'all missed the turtle eating. This is cool on the goodie though. This wasn't going to turn into a tarantula video. But it is now. I hate that I even had to mess with him. But being upside down in a water dish is unsatisfactory to me. Really. Y'all leave in the comments below what your thoughts are on that. Wow. This is a male, by the way. And I have an 8 inch female, 7.5 to 8 inch female coming to breed with this one. We, uh, we bought about 8 years ago, 6 or 7, 8, 6, 7 or 8 years ago. It's absolutely huge and beautiful and gorgeous. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Get y'all some good views of that. This is one of the most sought after tarantulas in the world. A lot of people say they're overrated, but they're not. They are extinct in the wild. They only exist in awesome collections like mine, and that deserves some attention and love. TLC. And I highly stress to all pet owners because of deforestation and because of human encroaching on all animals habitats we need people like me in this world to preserve nature in a jar just in case one day people smarten up and get to a point where they want to rehabilitate nature you can take little pieces from everybody's collection and offspring and rebuild this world to be a better more perfect place and this tarantula is trying to fall in that water bowl again i hate that Poor little guy. It shouldn't take him too long to harden up. But he has just shed, and I will further verify that that molt is just shedded um, shortly. I'm just going to put this piece of Letheria, Metallica. I still think this should be called a post Letheria. But that's fine. Neither here nor there. Um, Alright, Sarah, what else was going on? Miss Ma'am, shout out Reese's Python. Y'all check this out, Reese's Python or Reese's Python? Reese's. That's like Reese's Pieces, kind of in it. I think I can't remember. Anyway, check out Reese's Python. He's a cool guy. He likes to. We need to promote yes. each other. Yes, everybody needs to back up everybody all the time. All of the time. Now, the way I sex malts, 
put them on a thing like so like that and then yep. and then tell him I'll be with him in a little bit I put a little bit of soap water right here like so then I take a needle to spread this out for those of y'all who have found difficulty sexing them I spread this out like so the soap is to bust the water surface so uh, since water tarantulas are waterproof that will help break the surface tension of the water or something in some way that will make it uh, get get wet and, and then you'll be able to manipulate it a little bit so I've already sexed this one and it was a confirmed male now it's a little bit bigger I can further see if it is in fact a male or not and I usually use some kind of uh, I'll use a micro magnifying scope for that but I'm going to use these glasses right now because I am not uh, going through all that actually I might be able to put this on here yes I don't know if y'all can really see or not, but if you can't, I'm sorry. What did you want to tell tell else, my darling, beautiful one? Tell me. Um, the question that we've got for Reese's pythons is how many ball pythons do you have in your collection as of right now? Well, trying to see this having issues. Um, and always evolving pythons. What got you into venomous? Hmm. I might have to get the microscope on this one, people. I might have missexed this. It might be a female, which is going to suck. Is that going to be a Becky? I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me see. We are 12 minutes in. Uh, look at that little pink toe up there checking out things like, dude. Oh, yeah. And who finds it interesting? Leave it in the comments below that a avicularia avicularia is born a pink tarantula with black toes and then later becomes a black tarantula with pink toes. How cool is that? Or is that even cool at all? Leave it in the comments below. What are you feeding stuff over here? I'm missing stuff. Um, you ain't really missing anything. They're not, they're not eating? No, I think they're going to be shedding soon because last time we fed them, they ate seven pinkies apiece. Well, that's cool. Um, could be. Yeah, that one's too fat. That ain't going to eat nothing. It didn't eat nothing? Hmm. It did not eat? No, it was checking it out. Yeah, that one's too fat already. It's Leo not too dumb. <laughs> it is too fat. Look at that. Morbidly obese. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> not really. But it is pretty full right now. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video then. We're fixing to wrap it up. Was there anybody else that needed to be shouted out? We and, want to know who we're all going to go to oh, Daytona. No, we're, we're not going to Daytona. Daytona. Sorry. There's the fine line again between blondes and Sorry. reds, people. That fine line. <laughs> a blonde moment. I love blondes, though. Check that one out. Yeah. And then I got that one. Yeah. So I'm a blonde and a redhead man. <laughs> Behind every great man, there's a great woman rolling her eyes. But that being said, oh, yeah, there's another thing. In that video on Blog 80, he said. What are we buying this thing for? I would guess that you were buying that stuff 
as like a anti thing where your rats or mice or whatever you're raising can't escape since they can't climb that. If I'm right, that's Q. If not, that's Q too. And Becky, for just a slight moment when you were saying you get a two pound bag, I swear I thought you were gonna say weed. I don't know why, but that just popped into my head. <laughs> you get a free two pound bag of weed. weed. Yeah. Is everything. Uh, come on! <laughs> well, she says, uh, do the winner get a two pound bag? <laughs> I know where your brain is. I'm not a weed brain. I don't even smoke weed. But it's funny because all the all the oh, other northern yeah, states. Oh yeah, talking too. about that stuff. Where is Green Thumbs 420 at? Because I haven't seen him on any of our videos commenting yet. Yes, Green. Where are you? Green where thumb. is Ryan and Luke at? Yes, Ryan Luke. Where are you at? Are you okay? Are you alive? Are you still with us? We miss Ryan Luke. We even got a spider ant, Ryan Luke. What? A, wow. Dude, I never do that to match that one. Leave my baby alone. Oh yeah, and leave in the comments below if anybody knows who ever came up with calling a dude a dude and a dude that a dude that, because I just recently found out that a dude is a infected hair on an elephant's ass, and that makes me lead to believe that a dude that is a female infected hair on an elephant's ass. <laughs> so y'all leave it in the comments below. Edward and Ter Sarah Dindle out. Peace, love, and happiness, and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos, watch my older videos while you wait for new videos. And most of all, people, be yourself. Stay tuned. <laughs>